I wasn't really expecting that. I honestly, I'm feeling a bit insecure. Please come out good. I think I need to order more prints. What if I want it to be Monday? <gasps> Shipping is totally dollars My eyebrows are so... Okay, I apologize for my appearance. Wow. Okay, great news. Just came in, but I need to order more stuff. I'm gonna try to make prints. Postcard prints that I can just give away. And then I'll have my, my Instagram handle on it. Kind of like promotional ones. Like I will have the professional ones and I'll just have the ones that I'll just give away. And please take one. Please take it. Please take it. A lot of things are happening and I need to create more prints for the event that I was invited to go to next week. I have to have it shipped over in time. I'm getting a new phone today. I can finally tell you the news of what the meeting was about. I recently got accepted to be the featuring artist at an event next week in New York City. And so I'm going to bring you guys along on, on how I prepare for that. Found out that I was the only artist like representing my organization at this event. So I had to order a bunch of more prints. I wasn't really expecting that and it came up to like a lot of money. <laughs> and then I had to get this new phone and then I was like, oh, a lot of money. Anyway, so I ordered my prints already. I can't sell anything at this event either. It's probably, it's kind of like for exposure and I'll be talking a lot with students about opportunities that my org organization gives and I'll just let people know about what I do, which is pretty cool. Um, and I'm so excited to tell you guys about it. Um, I'm so excited to be a part of it and to be selected to be a part of it. Like that was crazy. Today I wanted to go get my eyebrows done because as you can see, I don't have eyebrows, I have caterpillars. So, all right, so let me close out delivered oh my prints here my prints are here oh my gosh and it's raining i gotta go <gasps> guys it's here oh it's heavy oh gosh i'm so excited okay okay oh my gosh please come out good please come out good please come out good please come out good okay there's so much oh there's a little note i can see it Oh, thanks for ordering from Cat Print. We are a small but mighty business that is passionate about creativity and printing. Your support means the world to us, the Cat Print team. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I love this. Cute little note. You guys, I see him. Do you see him? I see him. I see him. Do you see him? I see him. I see him. Do you see him? I see him. I see him. Oh my gosh. Wait, these came out dope. <laughs> wait. wait a minute. Wait a minute. These came out dope. <gasps> wait a minute. Wait, okay, okay. <gasps> wait, these came out so good. Wow, I'm like on a high right now. <laughs> These came out so nice. I hate, okay, disclaimer. I really, I don't order prints of my work ever, actually. The first time using the service and printing out work that I, I worked really hard on. Oh my gosh, and for an event, I'm so excited. Oh my God, I want like, I want to write a letter back. I can't, <laughs> under such short notice too. Like I, I ordered these what, three days ago. You guys were with me. That's when I did my ordering and it came out looking perfecto. Perfecto. Okay, I am gonna take one out just to see how the paper quality is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, careful, careful, Kiki, careful. Okay. I know some people won't understand why I'm so, like why I'm being dramatic right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> I need to go down. Oh my gosh, it looks so good though. This is why I do what I do, come on now. Come on now. Okay, so the thing is, the event that I'm going to table next week, I'm gonna be giving these away for free. I just wanna be able to give something. So I'm gonna have these on my table and also my business cards that I, I printed from Staples. So literally, like, look at this. Like, <laughs> it's not even like a, it's not even a rectangle. <laughs> it's just, yeah. But um, not all of them are like that. 
some of them are you know cut I mean I guess I don't even I don't even know <laughs> anyway but oh my gosh you could see it you can see the lines here staples literally it was like 20 something dollars though so I really can't complain like the colors came out so vibrant and nice look at this do you guys see this do you guys actually see this like I don't <laughs> I'm sorry I should I should honestly calm down I can't though I can't um I should really print this out into like an actual print. Like I should make like an actual print of this one. Do you guys think you would be interested in, oh, I, should, I really need to get a store going. <laughs> I really need to get a store going. Like this is honestly inspiring to open up my own store because this is just so cool. Okay, my second set of prints just came in today and we are going to unbox it together i am so excited we're gonna see how they came out they are the bigger prints like the 11 by 14s there are just five of them and i'm so excited that, that they came in today i was scared because of the second set of prints that i ordered like days after this order it came right away so i was thinking maybe it would be i don't know i was panicking i was thinking that i would have to go to the event with just like postcard prints I, but they came in let's take a look this is how big the box is you know in proportion to my head okay. oh, the final reveal oh, oh. there's so many it's like i'm digging for my present <laughs> oh my gosh wait a minute 10 percent off i get a discount that's what my eyes automatically go to. Oh, 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 So this is how it comes out of the box, the prints themselves. Okay, this is what we're looking at. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, these are so thicker. Okay, these are looking pretty good. There are just five of them, so. Okay, oh, this looks really nice big. This looks really nice big. This looks really nice big. It's so weird to see my digital art like in a physical form. I think that's why it's, this is like blowing my mind. Okay, so I don't wanna take them out of the plastic just to keep them safe for now. I'm working on a visual development project. The title is called The Protective Duppies. We're set in the 1980s. We're in New York City. Um, it's like a family type of story, family oriented. And it's a Jamaican family who moved from Jamaica and into the city at that time. I basically am showing my process of designing the story so far. I have like little postcards of like, of concept portraits for the characters. You can see here, here are the concept designs for the restaurant store. I'm so happy this is happening. Like, this is great. I also really love these paintings blown up. I really, like, it makes you really want to do more. This entire experience, just me seeing my art this way, it makes me want to make more art and it makes me want to print them out. <laughs> Hello you guys, it's Kiki here, jumping in voiceover style. I wanted to come in and talk about the wall grid. So this grid was actually very helpful the day of. It's very easy to piece together. And an artist friend of mine who does go to cons and shows off their work, they recommended this wall grid to me and it worked perfectly. It's very easy to put together. I did hurt myself a few times because the material itself is a bit heavier, but I would recommend this wall grid if you are looking to go to cons yourself and present your work. It works really well and you can attach clothes pins or use clothespins or binder clips to attach your prints to the wall so I definitely recommend this wall grid why is it dancing right now it's just dancing <laughs> it's doing the stanky leg <laughs> it's doing the stanky leg do the stanky leg do the stanky leg 
So I am scrambling the majority of this video and I wanted to clear the air before people start to think that I'm, I'm like this dysfunctional artist that <laughs> is always late to stuff. But in reality, I only had five days to prepare for this con. And that's because even when I found out through email that I was confirmed to be the featuring artist, and this was days before the meeting that I showed earlier in the video, I wasn't sure if I was going to be hosting a table shared with another artist representing our organization. But in that meeting, I realized that, or I found out that I was the only artist to be representing the organization at the table. So then I was like, oh, I need a lot more prints because I only ordered enough to like fit half of the table. But since I need to fill the whole table, that's where the issue is arising. Okay, so update on how we're doing with this right now. I honestly, I'm feeling a bit insecure about the amount of things that I do have to show. So I'm just trying to come up with ways that I can fill up the table. We have the prints that I ordered already on the wall. I got a few extras. I have my old painting right there. And then here are the other postcards that I ordered. And now I have my um, books that I illustrated. I have paintings I can show. I have some of my planner paintings that I actually did show in my previous art vlogs. I think I'm going to cut them in like print size. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do that because I don't have any. <laughs> I'm like, I have this big table and I can't, I can't fill it. All right, so this is what we have right now. But yeah, I don't know. My mom is gonna come home soon and I will get her opinion. It feels very empty. I had the brilliant idea of taking everyone's email. I don't know where to put that on the table though. <laughs> So the good old email list, this actually worked. When I did go to the con, it actually did work, which is fantastic. I told people about the store that I'm going to open later on in the year and people were down with it. And I was like, oh my gosh, people, people are actually interested in things that I would sell. That's crazy. But um, yeah, so I was thinking about whether to use, use the notebook or the laptop. And I just went with the notebook because it's like my laptop and I want, you know, COVID, you know, germs, you know, and it's New York City. Listen, I'm just trying to be safe. We went with the notebook and I think that is the way to go. And it worked and I'm super psyched about that. I'm playing around. Here are the paintings I was talking about, my older planner paintings. But it could fit, you know? It could work. An old self-portrait, I'm not too sure if that's gonna make the cut. Random illustration I did years ago. <laughs> so, who knew that Walmart would actually save the day? But it did. It did, Walmart saved my day. Saved my life, saved the event for me. I had to order prints from Walmart and it was the best decision. Very cheap because, you know, the print quality, the paper quality wasn't as, you know, it's not, it's not cat print. Let me just say it like that. But it worked. Like I actually got to print out a lot of my digital art. That was the fastest route for me to get more stuff on the wall grids. I just needed more stuff. So I just went prints. I need my prints. And then Walmart was there and I was like, okay, let me try that. But I gotta tell you, as I was reorganizing this entire thing again, it is so difficult to organize prints that one, are not on theme, two, are not a consistent print size. Because usually when you look at the pro artist setups at the big cons, 
they usually have prints that, that are a consistent size in one area and they kind of organize their setup that way. But because I have prints that are different sizes, they're not consistent, the theme is just, it's basically whatever I had. So there really is no theme. Of course, I had my, uh, my BizDev project posters up there, but in general, there wasn't a theme to kind of keep everything together. You know, it was kind of random things that I had. So that was kind of the biggest uh, went rant about this entire thing. My mom actually had to step in to help me out because I was just, I was in distress. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing was looking right and I just needed help. I was like, this cannot be my debut into the tabling world. <laughs> people coming towards you that's what you want them to see to draw their attention to you it's kind of like you ever heard when people say you're decorating a room you need a something wall that I can't think of an accent wall this is your accent talking about your vibrant colors are going to bring people to your station I suppose it's the one you showcase first I've talked about it in my previous videos. I'll talk about it in the next one. I am so dead set on launching a store. When? I don't know. <laughs> Most likely within the year, but I'm so serious about it. I'm looking up videos on it. I'm studying it. I, I want to know what to do to, you know, be successful with it. I'm taking it on head first because the 20s are for trying everything out and maybe I will fail, but I want to try it out. And I have the energy to fail because at 40, I will not have the energy. Baby, I'll be, I'll be tired. I'll be tired. So I might as well fail now, if you, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Digital planners, but they just, it was really difficult for me to keep up with for some reason. So I just use a physical planner and I write down the stuff I got to do and I cross it off when I do it. It's just, it's so much easier when you dump everything that you have to do onto a piece of paper or TikTok, Instagram, whatever. Just being clear as part of your family's laundry routine. It tackles impurities without them. To your website builder, if you are using something like Squarespace, upwards of five. I arrange our packages going to Alaska or Hawaii. Personally, that is what I pay for labels. There is a thank you sticker. Shipping supplies, again, they're really accessible. I get I want to thank you guys for staying with me and watching this video. Oh my gosh, if you really made it to the end, thank you so much. Thank you to Women in Animation for accepting me to be a featuring artist. And thank you for BMCC for having me. What a wonderful day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.